Good morning. So today you will find this video on how to do a Shannon Fano coding for the question given in the slide. So in this we would find that there are six symbols being given which has its individual probability. So in this process what, what we have to do is we need to arrange these symbols in this descending order of their probability value. So or we can find in the question that uh, the symbol S1 has the highest probability of 0 0.36, so this comes on the top. Then we have symbols 2 and 3 having 2 and 3 having 0 0.18 probability, so they come after 0 0.36. Now the next three symbols have, have a probability of 0 0.1 which is symbol 4 and then symbol 5 is having the next higher uh, probability that is 0 0.09 and then S6 has 0 0.07 so in this question we are lucky that uh, we can see that all the symbols are in series and given in their descending order of probability but that will not always be the case so in this case what happens is that you have to divide these probabilities into two groups where the sum of these probabilities should be almost equal to each other for example if I add uh, uh, 0 0.1 0 0.09 and 0 0.07 I get 0 0.26 and then if I add this divide this to then and here I get that it is going to be more than 0 0.6 so what happens is that the uh, sum of these two groups is not equal so we have to f uh, divide them into such a way that the sum of the two groups is almost equal to each other so the most appropriate um, technique that we can see is that I divide uh, 0 0.36 and 0 0.18 into one group and 0 0.18, 0 0.1, 0 0.09 and 0 0.07 into another group as you can see that these are almost uh, equal, the sums are almost equal for both the groups. So when I divide them into two groups, what I do need to do is then I need to give a zero code to the entire group and a one code to the next group. Please remember that we always start with a zero. Now we move on to this group. We need to divide this into two groups. Now there are only two symbols here, therefore we divide them into two directly where we can see that uh, this symbol 1 is going to be given a 0 and symbol 2 is going to be given a 1. Similarly, we need to divide these into uh, again two more groups. So what I would do is that I would see the sum of these. So if I divide at this 3 then sum becomes a bit more than 0 0.18 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this into two groups so when I do that I know that I have to give a 0 to the first group and a 1 to the second now you can see that with this group we are done here because this uh, is a single member group now in the other we see that again this can be divided into two, uh, into two groups so here we see that we, there is no option but to divide them into two groups where I see that this symbol can be alone and these two can be grouped together so I give a 0 here and I gave a 1 here again this group can be divided further so I divide this and I give it a 0 here and a 1 here so you would see that now you can write the symbol here the code here this is a 0 this is a 0 1 this is a now uh, sorry this is a one zero and this is a one one zero then this is a one 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 zero and this is a one 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 one